hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video it has been such a highly requested video so today i did the white look that i did on tiktok that you guys have been very interested in it kind of hurts my feelings because there are some looks that i put so much effort in and you guys just couldn't care less you just wanted the look with one color but that's okay so if you guys do want to see how i achieved this look continue watching but before you do please do not forget to like subscribe and comment down below what else you would like to see let's get into it as you guys can see i am very up close and personal today because i'm doing a tutorial that has been highly requested and that is a white makeup look if you guys do follow my social media such as instagram and twitter you would have seen that i did post some pictures of that look and a lot of you guys really liked it and asked me how to do it i am a little bit offended because i did this was the easiest look i've ever done and there are some looks that i put a lot of effort in and you guys just couldn't care less they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never under but it's fine i'll do the look it's fine also if you guys are interested in seeing some of my videos you can check out my tiktok because that's where i do a lot of makeup videos and you can just see everything they're not tutorials they're just fun videos that you know like just do a whole bunch of transitions let's just get into it Basically, I did wash my face before doing this. I do suggest everyone does this before they do their makeup. It's the same concept as showering and moisturizing your body. You are putting something on you and you would prefer to have a clean surface to start with. And throughout this whole tutorial, I swear if you laugh, if you laugh, because first of all, whatever I'm using right now, <laughs> there are some quarantine forced products and you guys are just going to have to accept that, you know. I will be like looking a lot here because this is where all my makeup is so please just mind that so i have my mirror here i know it's dirty but yeah the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to be brushing my eyebrows up and sometimes i do like even now i kind of do want to like like get rid of this part just wax this part a bit but it's okay it's not like a big deal and then you take any eyebrow pencil i do get a lot of dms about what kind of pencil i use or what like method that i use to achieve my eyebrows i genuinely feel like you can use any brow pencil or brow gel you can literally use anything because i have literally used anything and still the outcome is still the same so i really don't have like hey use this product and then your eyebrows will look like this no that is a lie whoever if, if, if anyone ever told you that they lied so then um i do just i make an arc that's the first arc i always make i make an arc at the bottom of my eyebrow so i have a kind of an idea of where i want my eyebrow to start and to end and usually i do kind of use my, sh my natural eyebrow shape but then i do enhance it so i just like and i know they don't look like his but i just push these the up the fronts of these up but then the rest i just draw on like i'm pretty i'm pretty rough with it and like do trust the process please like don't be scared that hey i'm messing up i'm like you know i'm putting too much um you can always clean it up then you just brush it out especially the fronts i feel like the fronts is where you brush it out the most and then the the wrist you kind of just lightly brush it out because you don't want to kind of brush off the color and then let me just do my other eyebrow okay so now i'm done with the eyebrows and as you can see they do kind of look a bit like a hey, scary but i'm not done relax okay so now that we're done with drawing the eyebrows now we're just gonna take an angled brush 
you can kind of use any brush that is angled i have actually quite a few you can i really don't recommend using one that's the size i just feel like it's just too small and you just so much more prone to making mistakes so i do prefer a bigger one i hope you can see the difference i see the difference and then you can use any concealer that you want to use right now i don't really have a concealer that i'm loving that isn't finished so i am using my foundation instead it's um yeah you guys are gonna laugh at me for saying this estee lauder estee lauder this one okay like i said quarantine based products can't really buy any more just have to work with what i have and then i put it on the cap of my i used to put it on my hand but then i just don't like putting makeup on my hands <laughs> unless like i have to so then i just take a bit and i brush it put a bit on the brush like so and then you just angle it i just feel like this is where a lot of people make the mistakes of eyebrows but then you just angle it and then before i go to the top of the eyebrow i do like to put some here And then I'll take a brush, the same brush that I used to put foundation on. Just to kind of see if I'm okay with like the, the bottom part. Like I just want a preview of how it's gonna look when I'm done. So now that I'm done with that, I'm able to do the top. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster before you came round. I was ready. And as you guys can see, what I did was I did start the, the concealer here at the top and I just kept on going lower and lower and lower until I was like, yeah, this is how big or how small I want my eyebrows to look. And I think that helps a lot with shaping eyebrows. So now that I'm happy with this eyebrow, I am quite happy with it. I'm just going to go into the next one. Okay, now that I'm done with my eyebrows, this is where the eyeshadow starts. I do put my eyeshadow before my foundation. I just think that's a personal preference. I know some people don't like to do that, but that's just how I prefer to do it. I don't really have exactly like how to angle it. I feel like it differs depending on the look and depending on how you want your eyeshadow to look at the end. For this look, I do want the, the, the wing to be quite long and like out. So I'm not really gonna put it so close into my eyebrow. I'm just gonna put it at an angle between the bottom eyelid. And then like, just like try to make straight. I don't know if that makes sense. Just try to make them even and then after when i've seen that they are even as you guys can see if you think they aren't even shut up then i'm gonna add some more concealer because the reason why i do add more concealer under my eyelid is because we are using eyeshadow not a liquid pencil or anything like that so the eyeshadow does need to stick because also it's white and let me be quite frank with you i haven't really seen a white eyeshadow that has just like 
oh my gosh just works so well and it was just the pigmentation was amazing i've never had an eyeshadow like that yet let me say yet i don't want to say at all like they don't exist they probably do but i just haven't really experienced it so to me it hasn't existed okay i'm gonna start with my nude put up beauty palette i'll be using this white and this eyeshadow which i got from an online store i don't remember it but i i it was the cheapest price i think it was like 150 rand and in this palette it is quite a small palette but in this palette it has three um things and this i think this was my first palette that i've ever bought I still use it a lot i'm still i feel like this is like even though it was my first i feel like it was my most proudest palette like i was so happy about it because there were so many colors i don't know about you guys but i have a lot of brushes but i don't have a clean brush like all my brushes always have color on them and i know you should be washing your brushes regularly but i don't have time to wash brushes i have time i just don't have time to wash brushes but I do use, um, oh, this isn't even English. Okay, it's Too Faced Lotion Eye Makeup Remover. Sensitive and Intolerant Skin. I think it's for sensitive and intolerant skin. I think that's what they're trying to tell me. But this is the brand. I don't use it on my eyes. I think it was a complete scam. When I do wipe it off, my eyes do end up being really red and really painful. And it's just a nightmare so i don't use it under my uh, for my eyeshadow i never use it for my eyeshadow but i do use it to clean my brushes when i'm doing makeup so i'm gonna take this brush and then like look it works really well it works really well it really does work so well on brushes so that's just that's just become its job i don't really use it for my eyes just for my brushes and now look Okay, you can't really see, but like, now look. So I'm going to start with the Huda Beauty's white. And then I'm not going to brush. I'm going to pack. You pack it on. But white is, like I said, an, a color that has never been pigmented in any of my palettes that I've ever bought. But maybe it's because I'm buying the wrong palettes. But um, I do feel like people do give up on like eyeshadows very quickly. And you just got, you guys are just so quick to assume that no, this eyeshadow really doesn't work. But I feel like sometimes you just gotta... Like when it comes to eyeshadow, you can't really say asking because... Yeah, no. but yeah i'm basically just packing it on as you can see i'm not brushing it on and i'm just gonna pack it on until i'm happy with like the pigment of the color Okay, now that I'm done with the eyeshadow, I'm quite happy with how the pigmentation looks. As you guys can see, um, the rest of my face is quite dirty, which is the exact reason why I do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation, because it does get on your skin, and now that it's on your foundation, and then you want to try and wipe it off, but then the foundation is sticky, so then it just it's just a mess. So yeah, I do prefer to do that, so now I'm just going to remove the tape. And then I'm gonna clean it up at the top. Just clean the shape up just so that it's a lot like a lot more defined and a lot like sharper, I guess. So I'm gonna go back and take my same concealer and my same brush that I used for my eyebrows. And I'm just gonna and I use like the smallest amount. I'm just gonna fix it over there at the top. He's ready to now that i am completely happy with my shape 
any brush really but i just do prefer the highlighter brush because it is quite light now that i'm done with that now i'm going to go into doing the foundation before i put any of my foundation on i do like to use this cream if you guys did watch the get ready with me slash get to know me video if you didn't watch it i suggest you go check it out but this is the first product that i used before i put my foundation on so let's put it in all the areas and then after that i'll use the smashbox pro finish minimize pores primer and i'll just put that here here just everywhere around my nose because i do have quite a bumpy nose and then on the sides of my lips just feel like that's the only place i need it and in my first tutorial i used it all over my face and my face was dry and uh, this wasn't cute this is the brush i use to apply my foundation and i know it's not the regular brush usually it's usually it's a brush that looks like this but i don't like it so you can use whatever brush that you feel is best for you and that you feel like applies the best for me it's this one so and then now i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush i'm not really sure i used setting spray but you can also just use water because sometimes i do like if, if i'm at someone's house i will use water because i just want it to be wet i don't want to apply my foundation with a dry brush so then i just tap it i don't really like wipe i tap i prefer to tap And I do like to like just take a dry sponge and just pat on just to get rid of any lines that the the brush might have made. Now that I'm done with the application of the foundation and I'm happy with it, so usually this is the step where you start like contouring. I don't really want to call it contouring because I don't really know how to contour exactly, but I don't have my bronzer right now so usually i use this color as you can see it has been used quite a lot so that's the color that i use and i'll be putting it around here like if i can circle it around this area and then where my cheekbone is you can just feel where your cheekbone is that bone i go around there and then i go back and then i kind of go here like here and i just do like a three shape kind of thing yeah. I do also like to do that fish face that that's done with it and I know right now I'm looking like I got sunburned in different areas but now we go in at this powder and so I just put it on the cap. Take my my thing. What's well, my sponge? Yes. Now put it up to my bridge nose. Um, there was another method of um baking that they said would like accentuate your face, and I tried it. And it was an epic fail. So I'm just going to stick to what I know for now. Put a line in between my nose. Like, obviously, like, makeup just evolves. every Like, it's completely, it's always evolving. Like, every day you learn a new way to do something or a better way to do something. But sometimes you just need to stick to what you know. <laughs> 
for makeup tutorials and stuff like that i don't necessarily do everything according to them i just kind of do every like i kind of see where they're going and then i kind of look at my face and see what best fits my face because the person who's doing the tutorial looks nothing like you so obviously the look that they're doing will look nothing like yours so editing when it comes to makeup is just such a must and i'll just put some on my forehead i don't really know why my forehead the, the the stuff that i put on my forehead i don't really know why i put it there that's one place where i'm just like it doesn't make sense but because people do it i'll do it too you know now that i'm done with that i'm gonna be putting my eyelashes i feel like that's all that's left to do my eyelash glue is finished i'm not really willing to leave the house to go buy eyelash glue right now so what do I use? Got to be, got to be waterproof styling gel. Let me tell you something. This stuff works. I feel like any hair glue, and my friend, my it was my friend who actually gave me this advice. And she was like, no, when I don't have glue, I just use my, the glue that I use for my hair. And I was just like, that's a plan. That's a plan. I did find the eyelashes that I used for this look, even though I found eyelashes that I love so much more, but just to keep with the theme, I'll do it. So this is what I do. I use the end of my tweezer. I put a little bit on, and then I just, then you just, and you wait for it to dry, but you don't wait for too long. Same thing, same concept with the, with the regular eyelash glue. I just feel like this is a hack especially like maybe when you forgot your eyelash glue and someone maybe has wig glue i feel like people just have wig glue or maybe i've just always had luck when it comes to that that when i need eyelash glue someone just has wig glue so then i just use that as an alternative and it works out it honestly does work out so while i wait for the eyelash glue to dry i'm gonna just remove the excess and I use another clean brush, not the one that I used for my contour. Then I just brush it off. I brush it down. And for here, I just tap on it first. Just to, and then I brush. I don't know, it's just, a, it's just become a habit. I feel like that's just what I do. Yes, and then I'll take white eyeliner put the white eyeliner here obviously just to really bring the look together i feel like it just it just it's the last page of the book i will just apply my lashes and i just really just place it on there and then i use this like the eyelash thing and then i actually dry it out so i'll do that off camera but basically that's what i do and then when I'm done with my eyelashes and I feel like they're on quite well. After that, I'm just going to line my lips every look I do. Regardless, I'm going to line my lips. It's just, that's just who I am. And this is how I like to do it. I don't really like to, I don't line just the outside of the lips and I don't line the whole lip. I just line and then I just, you know, put the corners in. Then you use any lip gloss you can find. Today I'm going to be using my lip therapy. And that is the final look. That is it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I just, I love this look. It's just it's such a simple yet like statement look.